And last night on News 6, parents heard from a panel of school leaders from different Central Florida counties about reopening schools. The conversation included people like superintendents, teachers, and a pediatrician. Parents had the opportunity to send in a number of questions. News 6's Lauren Cervantes followed up on some of those questions today. She is outside of school in Orange County with the answers. Well, one of the questions parents had was what happens if someone tests positive? And today we're learning more about what that process looks like for the different school districts. Now, one superintendent tells me that they're actually going to be providing rapid tests for all staff and students. So we've really talked about how do we minimize the amount of time that kids are out of school and is there a possibility to do so? And really it comes down to having access to rapid testing. The superintendent of Lake County Schools, Diane Cornegie, says they will be providing rapid tests to all school staff and students. She says these are the tests that allow people to know in 10 to 20 minutes if they are positive for COVID-19. Cornegie calls the rapid tests that involve a finger prick a game changer. She says it allows them to act quickly if someone tests positive for COVID-19 during the school year. School officials say people who test positive would be required to quarantine for three days and would then be tested again. Officials add once they have a negative test, they can then return to school. So rather than people having to stay out for an extended period of time just because they may be symptomatic, um, they can go get a test. Um, we actually have a roving nurse who can come to the school site if with parent permission and provide tests. She adds the rapid test also tests for COVID-19 antibodies and says getting the rapid test for the district was a collaborative effort between the district, Lake County, Adult Medicine of Lake County and the DOH. At last night's town hall, other school districts weighed in on how they plan to respond if someone tests positive at one of their schools. It depends on the actual case and what has transpired and then the contact tracing will help us determine who goes home and for how long. And we coordinate, we have to coordinate co closely with the Department of Health. Contacting those folks and asking for them to be tested and of course not returning to the school until those test re results are known. The superintendent of Lake County tells me that they're also going to be providing those rapid tests to all staff and students ahead of school starting. And she says starting next Monday, which is when teachers go back, she says they're going to be at all of the district high schools providing drive through rapid tests for teachers to get that done before they go into the schools. For now in Orange County, I'm Lauren Cervantes getting results news six.